So, I feel like I've been depriving you guys of my face lately with all of my gaming videos, so I'm gonna tell you about a really messed up dream I had while we're in the great outdoors because it's nice out today. Supposedly there's fires in Canada and that's why it's overcast, but when it should be sunny, I don't know. So here's the dream I had. I was in Game of Thrones. Not normal Game of Thrones, but Game of Thrones. And I'm going to warn you, minor spoiler, not minor, major spoilers are ahead. Don't watch this video if you don't want to know what happens in Game of Thrones. So I was in Game of Thrones, but it was modern day Game of Thrones. So if Game of Thrones actually existed in our time period, it was weird. Everyone was dressed in like name brand clothing. The Lannisters were assholes in like really, really nice name brand clothing. But that's not what's important. What's important was the Starks were all alive. And for some reason, all the female Starks were still in Winterfell. Which I was happy. Everyone is together. Nothing can go wrong. But Ramsay Snow was coming to Winterfell. And I was in the mindset of Sansa Stark. And Sansa, in my dream, had heard about all the fucked up shit Ramsay's done. So she heard that he was coming to Winterfell and she said, Nope. I am leaving, I am getting out of here, and I am not going to come back. And so she snuck out in the middle of the night like a ninja. She was dressed in modern clothes. It was weird. So what does Sansa do? Me, as Sansa. I had no control over this, but I was in her mindset. What does she do? She runs away to Mexico to go try to live with algae people. I don't understand it either. Algae people. They were blobs that lived in fish tanks. And she tried to go live with them. I don't understand her mindset either. I honestly don't. So she fails at trying to live with, fit, with the algae people and the fish tanks. She's still on the run through Mexico. She's running through the desert. It looks kind of like a Mad Max scene. If you haven't seen Mad Max, go, go see it. It's amazing. So she's running, and all of a sudden, Arya and her aunt show up. Now, this is not Aunt Liza from the show. This is an aunt who I have no idea who it is. I think it might have been one of the old ladies from Mad Max. I'm not sure. She was old, she had white hair, and Arya was with them. And they're like, hey, we're going to help you out because Ramsay Snow has fucked up Winterfell, and now there are people trying to kill us, so we're going to help you escape. So she's like, yeah, let's go, let's, let's leave. We're leaving. And then they go to a big city that is basically a giant network of water slides. And they're going through water slides while Bolton men are trying to kill them. It was just about as weird as you can imagine. But Eventually, they were caught up with the soldiers. The ant was killed. She was stabbed and then pushed down a water slide. So you could just see, like, the underside of this semi-clear water slide, just a huge streak of ant blood. And Sansa and Arya are screaming, and as they get captured, I wake up. It was so bizarre and weird and... I think this just shows how much Game of Thrones is affecting my psyche. It might be a bad thing. But yeah, that was my dream. It was weird. I don't know what I ate the night before, but I am certainly never eating it again. So if you're having a nice day outside, go outside. It's beautiful. It's beautiful where I am. You can see behind me there's grills. If I knew how to grill, I'd go grill but I don't have anything to grow with. So that's it for my face. That was my dream. Hopefully I will never visit that alternate universe of Game of Thrones ever, ever again.